Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can mirror your laptop to your smart TV. So today we're using a Samsung smart TV, but you can do this on any smart TV. And we're using Windows 11 on my Surface laptop, but this will also work on Windows 10. So to get started, all you need to do is make sure your TV and your laptop are on the same Wi-Fi. To check, you can go into your TV settings and you can go across to network. This will be displayed differently on all different smart TVs, but all you have to look for is the network settings and then look for wireless, and then it will tell you what Wi-Fi network your TV is on. And on a laptop, you just need to go down to where the clock is and you'll see the little Wi-Fi signal, and then you can check there to see what Wi-Fi you're on. So once you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, you can press the Windows key and K, and this is gonna show the available displays. If you have multiple TVs in the house or the office, they will be displaying here if they're turned on. But for me, we only have one. This is the Samsung 6 series. So we're gonna go down and click on that, and then this is gonna connect it straight away. So once you're connected, you're pretty much good to go, but there are a few little settings you can play around with to get your setup just right. So the first one we're gonna look at is our display setting. So we're gonna right click on the background of our desktop, go display settings. And then here you can see number one is my laptop. If I go identify, you can see here, it's going to identify each screen. So one is my laptop and two is my TV. Depending on where you're sitting, you might want to move your TV screen around because when you're playing around with multiple windows, you can drag them from your laptop up to your screen. If you choose extended display, so here we can see we're on extended display, but if you just want to duplicate the display, so both screens are displaying the same thing, you can choose this option. So then everything that you have on your laptop screen is gonna be the same on the TV screen. Thing you might wanna change is the TV's resolution. If we go back to extend display, so this is gonna give us two displays. So it's like having two monitors. My laptop is one monitor and my TV is the other monitor. But first we wanna select the TV, which is number two and you can scroll down and here you can change the display resolution. So it's picked up the recommended resolution here. If your picture on your TV looks stretched, you can come in here and change the resolution to make it fit properly. And also you can change the scale. So if you're trying to do a presentation or something and everything's super tiny on the TV, you can come in here and zoom in more or zoom out more. So we're just gonna leave it like this for now. And then we can close out of this. And if you look down at this icon down here, you can see it says casting to Samsung. So if we click on it, so you can change in here whether you have the duplicator screens extended or only show the second screen, which is the TV screen. That means the laptop screen will be blacked out and you can also disconnect from here. So we're on extended displays, which I quite like because if you're doing a presentation or something and you don't want people to see what you're doing on your laptop, you would use extended display. So then you can put your presentation up on the TV screen and double click up here and that will stretch it out. So then you can have a web browser or your emails or something open up on your laptop screen and your presentation up on the TV. And if you're mirroring something that needs audio, like um, there's audio in a presentation or you want to put Netflix up on your TV screen from your laptop or YouTube, all you need to do is come down to your sound settings and then click this little icon here to select the output. And for me, digital output is my TV speakers. And then this one here, speakers, is my laptop speakers. And then you have the volume mixers down here. So you can see this is gonna be the volume for the web browser, which has my YouTube video. Um, so you can control the volume down here. And if you do find you have any issues with clicking on the screen, sometimes I have found that like all of a sudden you can't click on anything and I'll have to come down here and disconnect my displays and then reconnect. So if you find something's not working right, just disconnect and then Windows K, find your display and then just reconnect and that usually fixes it straight away. If you find that when you go Windows K, your TV isn't coming up, there's a couple of troubleshooting things. Uh, the first one, as I mentioned before, is making sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. 
and the other one is some TVs have a casting options in the TV settings and that may be turned off so you might want to go have a look in your TV setting just to make sure casting or mirroring is turned on because that could be stopping it from your laptop finding the display. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. But if anyone else sees a question down there that hasn't been answered, um, that I haven't got to, and you know the answer, it's always great to see people helping each other out so we can all learn together. So thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel and go check out my other videos. I have a lot of other tips and tricks. Another video that you might enjoy is how to connect your tablet to your computer to use it as a second monitor. So go check out this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.